Yo, what is up you guys? This is episode 2 of Sally Face Man. So, you guys really did like this game after all, so we are playing more Sally Face. Sal? Sally, where are you? Oh my lord. It really doesn't have a face, it's just... It's just bright white eyes. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please! Please! Can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we could go together. Yay! I'll wait over there, by the trees. I'm not gonna lie to you though. My mom looking good as hell. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what tree? There's a lot of trees. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is a lot of trees. I thought I was gonna wait by the tree. What happened to my face? What? How did we get here? What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, is this his mom? The dog? Damn, the dog's dead. Is that my mother? Oh my goodness. Bro, what the hell is happening? Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into a Banana peels. What is it? How does that be? Oh, okay. <laughs> and a street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Um... Oh, dude, no way. <laughs> no shot, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this is going to be terrible. Oh! What the hell just happened? I, I don't understand. Um, do I just... Dude, what have I gotten myself into? Like, what is this game right now? I'm like, I'm just... I don't even know what I'm... I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. I'm just... You there. Please. Help me. What's wrong? The water. What's wrong with the water? It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please. What? <laughs> hurry. Um... I don't know what to do though, okay. Dude, where am I? Uh, is that not gonna work? Like. There must be like an order to this. Okay, so this is like. This must be a dream of some kind of his or something. I don't I don't really know. I don't really understand what's happening right now, but I'm guessing it's a dream. Okay, so this is all green, but why is that down there red? Oh, okay. So do we have to get all those first? Is there anything here? No, there's nothing here. So this is going to be green, right? I'm assuming it's going to be green. It worked. All right, so it should work. All right. Oh, we can't use the ladder anymore. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, um, that escalated quickly. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this works, I guess. I don't. 
Alright. Well, see ya, man. Leave. Yeah. Oh my lord, dude. What? Oh, this is when she, uh, was murdered. Okay. Was well, this, is this like, is he portraying as Larry right now? Or, like the kid that, that was in the basement? Because this is what he was talking about, right? Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Ew. What the hell? I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Oh shit. Oh fuck, he's having nightmares. Oh, what is that noise? Oh my god. Dude, that noise was awful. Like, Jesus Christ. Man, you're still having those nightmares. I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Oh. We can go outside. Oh yeah, we got our little jackets on and our hoodies. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Ooh, that's a nice tree house. Awesome. That actually does look really cool though. I never been to a tree house, so never even had one actually. Wish I did though. That would have been probably fun. This is so cool. I always wanted a tree house when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Damn, he disappeared? Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. It's his clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Oh yeah, no, dude was definitely murdered, or something. Definitely was killed, cause uh, that's not normal. Damn, I'm so sorry Larry. I don't know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know, I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chuck swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told my- I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them, on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out in the back, and one ended up in Mr. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another person to piss me to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible. Though, that poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. What? He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. Thought I was losing my mind. 
It was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what? I did? He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss, Miss Anderson, everything. Well, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that's happened. It's not all your fault. Yeah, and I feel like the whole rabbit thing was an accident. It's not like he was trying to intentionally kill the bunny. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was a moving shadow, all black and misty. It had the form of a human. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No, wait, when? I swear I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We we can try to find out more about the ghost. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to I got nothing to lose. Hmm. Maybe this 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 freaking person is not really a a demon or just maybe just like a maybe just a human that's a killer. I don't know. Huh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activities. Activity? That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Nothing useful in there. A bunch of nature and outdoors magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or s or more. Doesn't like doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. What is that? There's something kind of weird. A small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah. You're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Let, let's just let me know if you get it, get it open. Of course. Hmm. A puzzle box that belonged to Larry's dad. It's missing a piece, so I can't get it open right now. I guess we can leave now. Hmm. So that's pretty interesting. I mean, do they go to school though? I know they're kids, right? Oh, okay. You're okay. We're just gonna go. Uh, go inside. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. What the fuck? Where did that picture come from? Hasta la vista, Sally. Alright. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Megan? Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for a snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wild 
Why, Monish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Ah, it's me and Sally. It's me, it's Sally and uh, Larry. <laughs> Uh... Hey Lisa, you feeling any better today? Oh hey Sal, I think today might be the worst of it. Uh, once I'm over this, I'm over this hump. I'll be right as a, I'll be, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now. I get some rest. Oh don't worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Alright, well hopefully that's true. Is that the cat? Is that Gizmo? What you watching, buddy? What the hell? The cat's actually watching TV. Ooh. So the kid, the kid, he's actually living like an actual person. All right, so <laughs> he's just chilling, bro. He's just sitting there, just relaxing. Oh my, what the hell is he watching? Jesus Christ! It's like I got comfortable here. What uh, about my dad? Let's see what dad's doing. Hey dad, can't talk right now Sal, I have to make this deadline for work. Alrighty. Um, the three? Was Megan in three? I forgot who Megan was. Oh hi Sal, what is Ween's up to today? What? Hey David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? What happened to your- yeah, what happened to your pants? Oh, well, they're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them. Ida B, we just got to the talking and she Joan uh, Jono lost track of time? What the hell? <laughs> Have you ever seen a ghost? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night, at least all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, just you just gotta lay off the drugs, man. <laughs> Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. He's still making the same mistake, isn't he? Sees you. College students? They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. So I just like. Cause we we're already on the first floor. We were in the first floor. Yeah, we weren't in the first floor. I don't think we were. Ms. Runsberg's place? Oh no. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, alright. Come on in then. The door is open. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Roseberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that soon slip away from me. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone. The mind can drift. A great deal wondering that what's beyond the veil get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry dear, Sally, you have something to ask? How long have you lived here? Have you ever seen a ghost in the building? Ghost, why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghost? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl, you remind me. Of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the lore of death and its, and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why would you say, why, why you could say, we are all ghosts, really? Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane. 
that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings and small missteps could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me, when I say I've tried, yes, a powerful dreaded empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Anderson Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Andersons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the, to Andersons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret. My dear, though, it all eventually becomes meaningless. How about the Addisons? Addisons? Addisons, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone. Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As the young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed. If you ask me, the boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terrence worshipped his father and gave up his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartment. Slowly but surely, he began, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terrence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, but are we all? My dear, yes, I suppose we are. Mm, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting how that works. Um, we still haven't really... Hold on. So... I don't think anyone lives here. Good evening, Sally Face. It's so nice to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Hi, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? Wonderful, thank you for asking. So how may I be a service to you, young girl? Yeah, like, sir? What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though. I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future, if you are able to do that, is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety with all of the recent events, the attendants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Oh heavens. To Betsy, please don't tell me my building is haunted. An asshole or something. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bother again. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the old lady we saw last time. Yeah, she really doesn't like us at all. What am I doing again? What the hell? Well, why is everything up here so like seems so haunted? Also, what's with the freaking bloody bird cage? Okay. Is 
It's locked. Alright, this is uh, interesting. Locked. This is open. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then we'll have to believe that Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right back. I'll be right up. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn. These fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend, Larry. What the hell? I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She could be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her for a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into this supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... normal? Rational? Huh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Um... That's gross. Oh, is this- is this where I- <laughs> I had that one dream. What room is Todd in again? He's in 202. Tell him what we're trying to do. I'm sure he'll be he'll be happy too. He'll be happy to help. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. You know what? That happens to me too. You know, whenever like the season gets cold and I mean the season changes. I don't know. For some reason I get sick sometimes. It's kind of weird how that works, but let's say 202 Toss plays. Hey Sally Face. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. What the f- <laughs> What the hell was that? Ew! Oh my god, I- I- Oh brother, you must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I- uh, Me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, uh, you too? Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Oh, he's so nervous. Well, I love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Hmm. You too. You alright, Sally? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm cool. <laughs> Dude is stunned when he saw her. So what brings you this day? This oh, okay, okay. So what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us, an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? 
Oh, right. I see dead people. Do you believe... Are you referring to Miss Anderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your, your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge? Cartridge with you now? Yeah, perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out. Sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you or your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Nothing is happening. The game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna in a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Okay, so an antenna and a battery pack. Um, you have anything? Hey, mind if I borrowed the antenna from your scanner? I guess that'd be okay. Do you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you want to hear it? Cause I have the antenna, but I don't have the batteries. Will this work for the reception? Yes, this will work perfectly. Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally. Oh! With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to gear the boy one. Spoke of earlier, give me a moment to get it, get to... <coughs> Spoke of earlier, give me a moment to get it ready. <laughs> Damn. I got hiccups. Okay, all set. Behold, the gear bo the super gear boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press Y button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press R bar button. There to produce a large electrical discharge if my theory is correct then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparent apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well okay i think i get the gist of it i suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom okay sounds good whenever you're ready hold up the Super Gear Boy pressing Y, okay. What? Hmm, maybe I... It worked! Holy crap! 
Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he killed them. It, it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was for fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say that, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why have you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean, you can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. That was a fully formed unconscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal, the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the uh, about the supposed murderers. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I know some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out. Make sure it's okay. How the hell do I do that? This parents' room? Tom's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Ew, how the hell do I make sure it's okay? Well, at least I got it to work now. Check out the super gear boy. Todd made that? That's pretty impossible. That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed the parts of the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully, it will. Hopefully it will help to find out more about these ghosts and my and my curse. Damn, well that's okay. Hopefully it will help to find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Uh, I mean, it seems like it worked because there's there was a whole apparition like physically unconscious. You know, we saw it too, which is crazy. Oh shit. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's a, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really should have tampered with things that you don't understand. Oh, okay. Well, that was surely something. Is that the wrong room? Oh shit. What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? But that's all I get? Nothing even happened! So strange how that works. Should go to Todd's place. Maybe talk to Todd about this. Cause there's not a lot that really happened, but... Strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only ones that come up come, comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the police record. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Miss Anders Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that even possible? How is that possible? I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep looking into things. Check back in a little while. Okay, I'm going to keep searching for more supernatural stuff in the meantime. Perfect. Hmm. I mean, there was a spot over here, I'm pretty sure. What the? 
Okay, but what does that mean though? So, so far, I've been trying to find a bunch of these supernatural stuff. I pretty much, I feel like I've looked almost about everywhere at this point except for the treehouse. So I gotta go to the treehouse and see what's up with that. I think that might be the last place I do have to look at though. So hopefully that's true. Sal? What the hell? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, no. Sal. Very live. Uh, what? The hell? You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I can't have. I don't have much time. Uh. Remember. Uh, you t remember the red ball? What do you mean? What do you? What are you? Uh, 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 oh, I don't know. Okay. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was, my life is weird. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again, see if he's found anything. Well, that was surely uh, something for sure. <laughs> Yeah, oh boy. I found something interesting. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed. Started stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it. She was never wearing it when I talked to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Um, since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help you somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. Something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. The necklace? Oh boy. So we... So we gotta go exploring even more. So I'm assuming it's going to be upstairs. It's going to be upstairs, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to try the basement first. See, oh, lost and found? I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Oh shit. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. <laughs> That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him. Megan, he's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been? Do you know someone named Greg? What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy s scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. And then his sadness turned into angry. And angriness? Uh, do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just 
that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just this side, but a different, but a little different. Oof, sounds terrible. Do you remember your last days? I don't know, it's all blurry now. Were you fishing at the Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, i have never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I see. Uh, I, I guess your daddies were friends. I guess our daddies were friends? He, can you tell me where he is now? Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry, you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe his dad died at the lake. You know, because they said there was a mudslide or something like that. So they could just go back over there and uh, see what's up. I mean... Oh, shit. Okay. Is this your necklace? Uh, hey, yes. Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bath. She's in her bedroom. But she never listens to me anymore. But I don't think she can hear me. She's in her bedroom. But she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye bye. Wait, I. Ooh wee. Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going on, going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times and now he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have a better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Okay. What a weird place to be in. I think this is it, right? To... I'd love to lend to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids. And alls, but they have these real loud parties. Sometimes shakes the whole wall, and my shelf falls right down. If you just could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let Yins borrow the crowbar. Okay, I could talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See you. I just go in? Hey Sarah, what are you up to? Oh hey, uh, Sally Face. I'm, con I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. How about this? That's what I was leaning towards. It would be fun to break out of the I don't know what cover zone. How about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Um. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the t party. I'm trying to choose a game for a party tonight. I've got this little box of- I got this book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest? Uh... Mmm... Dodgeball... Charade? Dug Dug Goose...
How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Al. Okay, did that work? What the fuck? Oh my f- Bo. I don't understand- okay. Oh my lord, dude. Alright. God fucking damn it, what the hell? Thanks for helping me out, Sally Face. How about this? Uh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected and it's classy. I think this one could work. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Oh, thank god. I was about to say, I was like, what the hell happened? I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be so happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blew up, blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. It's one second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Wow, you know what? Uh, David seems like an actual nice person. Kinda. <laughs> Let's go up here and see what we got that got going on. I think it's like, uh, I think it's in here, right? I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Stacy? Are you okay? Oh... My fucking god. Um... There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Point of no return? Oh my dude, hello hello. She desperately sought a place among the council so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book Forgotten Truths. What the f fuck is this? It's like Game Boy, like actual Game Boy, what the hell? This is, dude, this is insane. This is crazy, bro. Like, I don't even know what I'm even playing anymore, like, what? <laughs> it's like I'm actually playing the Game Boy right now. Take the book? I have retrieved the book of Forgotten Troops. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as a testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our right pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. What the fuck? And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into the Jim's eyes and said, if you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. What the hell? This is nuts. Like, I don't even know what the hell I'm even playing right now.
Um. Okay. Oh shit. Um. Okay. I'll go over here. Oh, All right. <clears throat> Shit. Oh, fuck. All right. There we go. Enter. Luke, can you hear me? Oh. My goodness. <laughs> Holy shit. Luke? What happened? What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that Theoretically, it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. Damn, dude, Todd knows what the hell he's doing, bro. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. <laughs> well, I don't. Well, I don't. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad is. He just. He just. <sighs> Damn! He died. He probably died in the mudslide. Jesus Christ, dude. This game, bro, is just depressing. Like, I thought Amori was depressing, but this is actually just like... This is just pure depression. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, was that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insights from you today, especially with this being our last session in your trial in just a few days. I swear my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Go government conspiracies, demons and ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Damn. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, eh? Hmm. He must see something in him. He must be like, damn, he probably knows something. Oh, did he actually go? Oh, that's what it looks like now? Damn. Shit sure looks old as hell. Oh my lord. It looks terrible. It's all dried up. It used to be like so snowy and... Nice. But I wonder how he got charged for murder. Rusty's tools and other various junk. A few old a few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. They're filled with clothes. Cassettes, nothing of 
Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see my for myself. Sal was so convincing, and this whole thing has seemed off. <laughs> Dr. Ennen? What? Larry died? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is just- This shit is much deeper than we thought, please. You have to get Sal here. This is your- You can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then- Shit. Oh my god, bro. Wait, what? 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 The dude died? He died? Dude, are you kidding me? Well, how is Sal supposed to get the hell out? What the hell is happening right now? Did the dude just die? Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. In a diff. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Others out. Play shift keeps. Must. Oh, dude, I can't interpret any of this. Uh. The only one who lived, you, is dead now? What should I do? R huh? N run. Run! What the hell? What the hell? What? What's happening? What am I doing? I don't understand. Am I supposed to be just running? There used to be a door here. Did I die? Is it true that you have chosen to forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add Sanderson murder to your charges? What? How? Wait, how did they do? What the? Whoa, whoa, what? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. What about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now. <clears throat> I have nothing to say about him right now except that I did what I was thought was what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of Bogna? I'm not afraid of lunch baloney? Wait, what? I'm not afraid of lunch meat. Okay, I just well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. All right, man. I guess that's it for today's episode. That was pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie to you. So we know that Sally um, is being blamed for like 
all the murders that happened in like the freaking hotel at this point or they're planning on pressing charges on everything on Sally at this point so yeah um, <laughs> and Larry is saying that this is deeper than what it is also Larry's dead which I didn't okay that sucks damn so we know Larry died in that freaking uh, I don't know if, if he died in the in the treehouse he must have died in the treehouse or something like that something must have happened at the treehouse for him to die so unfortunately Larry's dead and we know his father's also dead too so this is all a very unfortunate events <laughs> But uh, I'll see y'all later for another episode. Like and comment, hit the bell notification, and subscribe. Peace!